All right, what is up guys? Savin from Brainvis.com. Finally today, we're finishing the Arduino Motorized Slider project. I'm gonna show you how to create the graphic on the LCD screen and share with you the whole Arduino code needed for this to work. So let's go check everything out. Then we'll be right back and I'll show you some test footage that I did using this slider. So let's go. All right, so the first thing I need to do is create the graphic. I'm in Photoshop right now, but you could use any other graphic software if you want. I created a new document with a size of 400 by 240 pixels, which equals the resolution of the screen I'm using. Now, your screen might be different if you're using the bigger one, so check the resolution and just make your image the same size. So to create a graphic, I just put a black background and then in each layer, a different function that I need on the slider. Now, as you can see, I have my in, my out points, play to move between those. I have left and right to move the slider, plus and minus to adjust the speed. Now, if you notice in the picture, I didn't put any boxes with numbers because that will be created inside the Nexteon display software. So the graphic is created. All I'm gonna do now is save it as a JPEG and we're gonna import it inside the Nexteon editor software. So let's go do that now. We are in the Nexteon editor, so I'm gonna create a new document. And now it's asking me to select the type of LCD I got. So I got Enhance 3.2 inch display I want it in landscape and there we go we got a blank document first thing I want to do I want to import the picture we just created so click here and there we go import successful and you see it here now to put it on the actual LCD we're going to use a picture function and then on the right we're going to browse and select the picture we just imported and there we go we have our picture in the background next thing I want to do I want to create the touch areas so I'm going to do hotspot and put one over each one of the buttons. There we go. Now we have touch areas for each one of the buttons. Next, I want to create some text boxes to display the position and the speed. So I'm going to select the text and put one box under each one. And there we go. Now we have boxes. So now to put information inside these boxes, we need to generate a font that the Nexteon editor can use. So we're going to go to Tools, Font Generator, and we're going to create a font of 32 points and I'm going to choose Arial Black. And there you go. You see what it looks like there. I'm going to give it a name, generate font. It's going to ask me to save it. And there we go. The font is generated and I want to add the font. Yes. So now you can see the font under the font tab here with an ID of zero. So if I go into one of the boxes, so the font ID zero is right here. Now, the default value I want at the beginning, I want just dash dash, so that when the next day on screen starts, it will have that information already displayed on the screen. So I'm going to do the same for T1. There we go. And for the speed, the default speed I'm going to be using in the Arduino code is going to be 200. So I'm going to put that by default as well. So now everything is pretty much done. I just need to uh, do a couple more things for the touch events. So let's say this one going to the left, I'm going to say a touch press event when I press it. I'm gonna send a component ID, we'll see that a little later. And I want a touch release event as well. So I can hold the button, sends an event, and when I release, it will send a different event. So I can read that with the Arduino. So I'm gonna do that for left and right. So send for release, send for press. The in, I just need to send a press event. I don't really read when I release. And the out as well. And the plus and minus. And now we're gonna compile the code no errors and then we're gonna open the tft output folder and here's our file that we need to put on a micro sd to update the next on so let's go do that now all right so now that we have the file i put it on this micro sd card here and we're going to install it on the next on the next on comes with a little usb adapter here that you could use a battery pack to actually power it up so first thing i'm going to install micro sd right here now I'm gonna give it power, and there you go, it starts updating, and we'll wait until this reaches 100%. And there we go, it's completed. So now I'm gonna remove power, I'm gonna remove the SD card, and I'm gonna restart it. So there you go, everything is on the screen now. Of course, if I press, it's not gonna do anything because we didn't connect the uh, Arduino yet. Now let's go look at the Arduino code. All right, so before we look at the full Arduino code, we need to look at the messages received from the Nexteon when we press a button. So we're gonna use this little code here to find that out. 
So we're using the software serial. This one is included. It's a library that's included with the Arduino IDE. You don't need to download it. And I'm using this new library to control the Nexteon LCD written by Bentley Bourne, and you can find it here. This library is a lot simpler to use and uses less code than the one I was using in prior tutorial. So we'll see that when we look at the full code. Uh, then we initialize the library here. We start the serial monitor and we're going to save the message that is received from the Nexteon and display it on the serial monitor when we press a button. If you look here, I'm going to start pressing buttons and you'll see the message appear here. So let me do that. Let's say this one, the uh, left. I'm going to press and hold. Got a message. And when I release, I get another one. So we'll keep track of all these. The right one. And there we go. In. Out and so on. So now that I know which code is received when I press or release a button, I can put that in the full Arduino code, and that's what we're going to look at next. All right, so let's look at the full code now. Uh, we're including the libraries at the beginning, the Nexteon we just saw, software serial, and of course the Excel stepper library to drive the stepper motor. Then we have the pin assignment, initializing the different libraries, and a couple of variables to hold like the in position, out position, and the set speed at the beginning. Then we get to the main setup, so we're initializing the Nexteon and putting some stuff in the boxes. Then we get to the main loop, so we're listening to a message. If the message is not equal to nothing, meaning a message was actually received, then we check which button was pressed with our testing we've just done prior to this. So if we receive a press event for move left, then we set the acceleration. If it's a release event, then we stop the stepper. Same thing for move right, same thing here. Now, if we received an in or an out point press event, then the in position is equal to the stepper current position, and we update the text box accordingly as you can see here. Now, if we receive a play button press, then the start cycle variable set to one, and we'll see that a little bit lower. A uh, lower speed button, then we set the speed minus 10, increase speed plus 10, and we always update, of course, the text box accordingly to that new speed. And then we check if move left is equal to one, that means we're pressing the left button, and then we're running the stepper plus 75 steps to the left. Move right, we are moving to the right instead. And start cycle is equal to one. That means we want to move between the in and out. So we're doing all this stuff here to actually go to the end point and to the out point at the set speed that we selected. And then when it's done, start cycle is equal to zero and it starts over again. So there you go. That's the whole code. Now we're going to upload that to the Arduino. And now let's go test everything out. All right. So the code has been updated. So I'm going to plug in the NPF battery in the back. It's ready to go. Now the functions are really easy. If I want to move the slider to the left, I hold this button. And then when I release it stops, same to the right. And there we go. So let's say I want to put an in point right here. I press in. The information is updated here. I'm going to move a little bit to the right, do an out point. So we're ready to go. If I press the play button, it's going to go to the in point and then go to the out point at the set speed that you see here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna increase the speed a little bit so it doesn't take too long to uh, do the motion. And there we go. And I'm gonna press play. It's gonna go to the in point first and then go to the out point. So let's do it. That's the way it works, very simple. That's all I needed. And it makes my job a lot easier when I wanna do slider shots. So now let me show you what I achieved with this setup. So that'll do it for this project guys hopefully you found this interesting and for all of you who watch all four videos on this project i thank you a lot it means a lot to me that people are watching this stuff and getting something out of it like i always say if you like my videos please subscribe thumbs up and all that cool stuff but i try to make a video every week so i hope to see you guys again in the next one so that'll do it so like i always say my name is ivan and i hope to catch you guys real soon take care